studios of America, the technicians, the entertainers, the commentators, the administrative personnel, daily unite their efforts in the creation of programs to please and entertain the vast radio Your grab bag. You might even find soup. In fact, uh, just before going to air, I reached into the Life of the Monkey House grab bag and I pulled out a hand completely covered in Campbell's chunky soup. What's the deal? Who has been unloading cans of chunky soup in this grab bag? This is not a garbage disposal, people. Things come out of the grab bag, they don't go into the grab bag. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, Every round of the grab bag is sort of like playing auditory hide-and-seek. You're looking around. You don't know what or whom you're going to find, but once you find it, or them, you know it's going to be mega exciting. That's exactly how this show works, and I promise you, no soup anywhere. Well... Okay, I can't really promise that because other people live here at the Monkey House, too. And ever since April Fool's Day yesterday, they've all been looking for really funny gags to play around the house. I tell you, you serve your kids a cereal bowl full of candy on April Fool's Day morning. Oh! Next thing you know, your whole house is like trench warfare of April Fool's gags. We've had like 80 gags played on us, including uh, my son and daughter yesterday, Oscar and B, tried to get me to eat a Girl Scout cookie Thin Mint. Oh, boy. That is not my kind of hide-and-seek. 